He has confessed to killing nine-year-old Libby Kletsky of Brooklyn. Now, Levy Aaron has an extended meeting with his attorneys, and all indications this morning point to an insanity defense. CBS News' Kristen Thorne joins us live from Bellevue Hospital in Kipps Bay. Kristen? Well, Rob, his attorneys met with him here yesterday. He's being held under very tight security here at Bellevue Hospital. They're basically trying to determine if he's mentally fit to go to trial. They say he is still hearing voices. He has pled not guilty to first-degree murder. Is he fit enough to stand trial? That's the question facing defense attorneys this morning for accused killer Levy Aaron. They met with Aaron at Bellevue Hospital for several hours yesterday as they try to come up with their defense. We would talk about a various amount of different topics, his past, his childhood, his family, and he was um, articulate when it came to that, but when it got to some kind of very pointed questions, he became very introspective. And, and most of the time he didn't answer us. Attorney Gerard Marone says physically Aaron is doing okay, but mentally he's still hearing voices. He tries to quell some of the voices by listening to uh, music. He listens to it very loud and that helps him quell some of his voices. At Aaron's home in Kensington, Brooklyn, investigators continue to scour the place. I think the police feel that there may be other victims, whether human or animal. Forensic DNA expert Lawrence Kobolinski says police most likely believe this wasn't the first time Aaron harmed someone. Aaron is accused of kidnapping nine-year-old Libby Kletsky last week and killing him inside his apartment. They are certainly uh, looking for the presence of blood spatter throughout the house, and they're taking various items uh, of furniture where there may be evidence of other victims. At Libby's family's home in Borough Park, people continue to come by to pray with them. Mayor Michael Bloomberg stopped by yesterday as well to offer his condolences. I think we all should, uh, before we go to bed, uh, take a look at our children and recognize how lucky we are to have them. Two separate psychiatrists have interviewed Levy, Aaron, and what they'll do to determine if he is fit to go to trials, they both do their independent reviews of them, and they both have to decide independently of each other that he is not fit to go to trial. So we'll have to see if that happens. We're live at Bellevue Hospital in Manhattan this morning. Kristen Thorne, CBS 2 News.